CZ is world renowned as being a high quality firearm manufacturer. Uh, in the Czech Republic, of course, the CZ-75 is their flagship, which people know CZ from. But they have moved way past that over the past few years. And this is the CZ-805 Bren PS1. Uh, it is what has replaced the VZ-58 for the Czech military. Uh, it's also used by the Mexican army, also by the Egyptian army. And it has been battle proven in the Afghan war and also with the battle against the Mexican drug cartels. So it does have a history. These have not been allowed to be imported into the U.S. in the rifle form. In fact, you could go to the CZ website for a long time and it was only available to military and police. Be able to bring these into the country for the civilian market, they had to do it in the pistol form. It is a little unweldy as a pistol. Uh, but we're going to look at one of the adapters for the arm brace. But what this is really would really come into its own as an SPR. First thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. Right here is your mag release. Pull out your 30 round magazine. These uh, are just AR-15 magazines and uh, this is a 30 rounder. Uh, you can use any of your standard AR-15 magazines for this. We're going to pull back, make sure the gun is unloaded and it is. Now, one of the things I want to show right here is how smooth this action is. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the smoothest actions I have ever felt. And that translates when you shoot it. It just shoots very smooth and very flat. Uh, one of the reasons for that, though, is the muzzle brake. And uh, this is a proprietary muzzle brake. It's 1 in 14 threads uh, it is left-handed so you know there are some adapters you could possibly get for this but to be honest with you this muzzle brake is highly effective putting on a suppressor adapter could be a little bit of an issue but I really like this system uh, right here we can see that it is piston it is a piston gun and uh, right here is the adjustments for your piston it does have a standard shooting position and then you move it counterclockwise to heavy duty position and they don't recommend that you leave it on heavy duty and it's really made to be a little bit lighter it will uh, put a lot of wear on your rifle now it has an aluminum upper receiver and then a polymer lower uh, very similar to the scar in fact this went up against the scar in the Czech Republic military trials and the Bren uh, beat it out of course obviously with it being a Czech made rifle it has a monolithic Picatinny rail all along the top and with low profile iron sights that come with the rifle you have a post right here at the front on the rear we have an aperture sight this turns all the way from very small target to a really large aperture and these are protected and and hooded the grip very ergonomic and your safety is right here right at your thumb and again, it is ambidextrous. Ambidextrous thumb safety. It's got a big wide paddle on it. It's easy to hit, easy to sweep down with your thumb. It's a short throw safety. So you can see here, the safety only moves about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Here is your bolt stop. Pull it back, engage it, and it holds it into place. Um, one of the things about it, it does not have a bolt release. So you can hit this, it's not gonna change it. To release the bolt pull back and then let it go forward uh, one of the things about this rifle is it has a reciprocating bolt that means when you are firing the rifle this bolt is coming back every time similar to the AK and a lot of other rifles but one of the things you got to be careful of is if you have your hand on the mag well right here this can be very painful and believe me I know all about it now this can be switched to the other side very easily. In fact, at one point I changed it and we're gonna look at that when we break it down how easy it is to take your bolt handle and just move it to the other side. And that would make it more like the AK-47. You have Picatinny rails underneath and then you have side rails here that are actually protected by this little uh, guard. Uh, now these can be replaced with Picatinny rails as well. In fact, I've seen some of the military rifles where this is protected. This is aluminum course the whole upper is aluminum uh, and this can get a little warm uh, if you're shooting rapidly and shooting a lot the handguard up here is starting to get a little bit warm yeah I think it's metal isn't it it is it's aluminum yeah back here toward the magwell it's not so bad but when you get up here toward the front where the piston assembly is these side panels here start getting pretty warm 
the, even the bottom just from the radiant heat from it normal shooting it doesn't get warm at all but if it really it really can heat up if you're not careful i think one of the things about this it would be great to have a little angled forearm uh, or an angle grip right here to be able to to kind of keep that heat away from your hand the magwell is beveled makes it really easy to insert mags of course just grab it up there with the, the mag release dual sling adapters at the front and a dual sling adapter at the rear and right here at the back the barrel is 11 inches long uh, the total length of the pistol is 22 and 3 quarter inches and the weight on it is 6.7 pounds now it is a fairly weighty uh, firearm uh, for its size especially with the polymer frame and the aluminum upper but it does the barrel and the pistol s piston system seem to add a lot of weight to this CZ does offer an adapter with a buffer tube which really makes it nice to put on pistol braces I have one of the Thordson uh, cheek rest or saddles on here this really makes this doable and I've seen a lot of reviews where guys are shooting it just you know with their hands like this without any support at the back and uh, it's really unwieldy. This really makes this much more manageable. Uh, now, just putting your cheek here, hand, and then hand, it gives you three points of contact. And really with the smoothness of how this thing fires, uh, it just really makes it nice. In fact, I was getting really good accuracy uh, with the iron sights uh, out to about 50 yards. At 50 yards, hitting the target, this is with HBR uh, 223, uh, just really great accuracy for iron sights. And now this does not make this a stock. This keeps this in the pistol form, and this is not made to put against your shoulder. Of course, the ATF has written a letter now saying that placing this on your shoulder with the intention to circumvent the uh, SBR uh, NFA laws can lead to prosecution, but they're not really actively prosecuting. Man, it's amazing. Just the cheek, how much that makes for this pistol. This pistol. Pistol. You know, I can't imagine putting this in an SBR form. I think this would be incredible. <clears throat> yep. Because if you're already shooting it this well. Yeah, that that pistol just begs to be SBR. Disassembly of the Bren 805 is really simple. Uh, right here and here, you have two takedown pins. Now, this little spring wire holds it in. So you just push down on that little wire and push through just like this then your pin just comes out the back right here's a little button just depress it and then pull off your back plate just like this your section will lower down the lower wheel there is a pin still retaining here but we're going to leave it in for just a second go ahead and pull out your recoil spring and then once you get your bolt right here to this little uh, slot just pull it right out and the bolt comes right out of there. Uh, very similar to the AR-15 bolt head right here. Uh, the bolt carrier is just one steel machine piece. Uh, this is fairly difficult to disassemble. In fact, CZ recommends not to take the bolt out. Um, so that is one of the downsides about this system. Uh, you'll need to really keep this clean. The front little retaining pin, just push that spring down to where it allows it to go into the hole and then just remove your pin. And then this lower section just comes right off. To remove the gas piston, there's a little detent that holds it into place right here, and this also allows you to adjust, bring it down, and then just turn. Once you have the cap flat right there, you can just take your tool, bring out your gas piston. This is a really nice piston system. It's just very, everything's very well machined. Uh, it's just excellent quality. And here we have the gun completely field stripped. And of course, we're just gonna go back in reverse order. We put our piston back in, making sure you line it up. Bring in our cover or cap.
turn the bolt right here you want to make sure that's lined up now right here you can actually enter it here or you can enter it onto the other side according to which side you want your bolt to be place it in move it forward recoil spring going to reinsert our front pin the one thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to add the pistol brace which this is really easy as well we're going to push in our recoil spring bring it up from underneath push down on it and then pop it into place now we can put our now we put our rear retainer pin in and we're all done Again, that smooth, smooth action. Now with the gun, you get a number of accessories, and of course you get your owner's manual with a target uh, from the factory. Of course, a child safety lock, extra magazine. You do get a sight tool, which really makes this nice. And you get this really cool little maintenance kit. You get your cleaning rod with a brass head and all of your brushes. Also, you get this tool, which takes off the hand guards. This actually helped me with the gas tube. And then here we have another tool. This is a pretty specialized tool. I'm not sure what all this does. I haven't looked at it yet, but that is a pretty cool uh, tool to be included in this. And then you get cleaning patches. And, of course, with the bag itself. The brace adapter is available separately. And CZ has announced that it is offering a SBR kit with a folding stock that will be available pretty soon and that way you can make this into an SBR it will have all the parts to make it 922R compliant the manufacturer suggested retail price on the CZ website is $1982 uh, I've saw it a number of places for around the upper 1600 range but I did find at Kentucky Gun Company they had it for $1589 free shipping and that's cash price so that is a great price for this rifle, $1,500. Compared directly to the SCAR, the FN SCAR, which runs a lot of times $2,300. But I think this is a fantastic firearm for the money uh, with all the systems and all the quality that this has. Uh, if you're looking especially to make this into an SBR, I think this would be a top candidate. So the CZ805 Bren pistol, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Bring the lower receiver down like this. And okay, this is all chopped up. Just burning the new off of it. <laughs> Dude, that's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Man, I like that. <laughs>